Hi guys, Frankie Tech here, and a happy Kung Hei Fan Choi to you all. Now, I'm back, but with two phones, and I'm gonna be doing an interesting video on these two, a camera test, but to start, I wanted to share my initial thoughts and comparison between the Vivo V30 and the Redmi 13 Pro Plus. Now, these are two mid-range phones, but they definitely are pretty powerhouse phones with a lot of cool features. And I think the coolest part about them is that they are very different phones. Now, Vivo is going for a much slimmer look here at 7.44 millimeters, super slim, 186 grams, while the Redmi is quite a bit thicker, but it doesn't sacrifice in terms of camera with that 200 megapixel OIS camera. And I gotta say, yes, the blue color would have been nicer, but I like the contrast between these two. As you can see, the Vivo has got this really nice shimmering effect and it has the Aura light as well included, while the camera modules you can see on the Redmi are quite a bit larger, and they definitely are quite a lot more, more expansive in terms of their capabilities, you could say, than the two here on the Vivo V30. Talking about their displays, these are excellent displays from both of these with 6.67 inch display, 120 hertz AMOLED on the Redmi 13 Pro Plus, and a 6.78, inch on the Vivo V30. Now I'm gonna set these to max brightness here so you can see that both are plenty bright and should do the job pretty well. And I do like though the borders on the Vivo V30. They are quite a bit smaller and they're just a bit more modern looking than this 13 Pro Plus. Talking about performance, we also see two mid-range CPUs here, but going different routes here, the 13 Pro Plus is using the Dimensity 7000 200 Ultra, while Vivo has opted for the Snapdragon route, going with the Snapdragon 7 Gen 3, and you can see the results. It's a little bit dark here, but let's see if I can show you guys. 841,000 versus 786,000. Both of these solid mid-range scores, nothing flagship level here, but I do think if you're talking about performance, I would give the edge here to the Vivo. And in terms of battery life, we have the same 5,000 milliampers on both, but you have to think, you know, there's quite a bit of thickness here difference between these two, and you're getting that same battery performance from this Vivo than on this Redmi 13 Pro Plus. And, you know, I think Fun Touch OS is the other area where I feel Vivo is ahead. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I actually think that Fun Touch OS 14 it's just a bit more enjoyable to use than MIUI in this current iteration. As you can see, the phone is on MIUI 14. And look, we have an update now. We will install that and I will share my experience with that. But I will tell you guys, Fun Touch OS has come a long way. It's just a lot more stock in the experience. And I do think it is just the more enjoyable software now. A lot of MIUI lovers out there, you guys are gonna tell me I'm nuts. How can I say Fun Touch OS is better now than MIUI, but I personally just am enjoying it a bit more. And last but not least, we talk about the cameras here. We have 50 megapixel main cameras and front cameras here, rear and front on the Vivo, which means you get 4K video on the front, which you cannot say the same about here for this 13 Pro Plus. Now, that's always been the case with Xiaomi phones, only recently with their flagship that they launched 4K on the front. But I just love the fact that this Vivo does include that capability and great selfies here on this Vivo. But then you have, of course, the Aura Light, which is the other aspect of this, which really allows you to adjust, you know, the color of the light to suit better portrait shots while there's nothing to see here really for this Redmi 13 Pro Plus. But what you get with the Redmi, I think, is better zoom. The zoom so far in my initial testing has been really good. And that's why I'm gonna be doing, guys, a camera comparison between these two phones. I think it's gonna be interesting to see the findings because I think if you're looking more for portraits, this might be the better choice. But if you're looking for the, the bigger specs and the better zoom, the Redmi might be the better choice. But all in all, guys, if I look at these two and my initial comparison, I think these are very different phones and it's nice to have options on the market, whether you want something a bit more flashy, a bit more sexy, you could say, and something that is ultimately a bit sleeker and offers more in the portrait category, this would probably be your choice. But if you're looking for that really budget value, amazing phone in, you know, and if you're in Xiaomi world and you appreciate the value, this 13 Pro Plus has it in spades. But hear me up in the comments, guys, what are your thoughts 
on the Vivo V30 and the 13 Pro Plus. And stay tuned for my full camera comparison. I'll be coming out with that very soon. But hit me up in the comments. I'd love to hear about it. And that's it for this video. If you liked it, give me that thumbs up. And if you love the content of Frankie Tech, subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell icon for future updates. Spending a great time here with my new and with my daughter. We've had an awesome time traveling around and we have a few more days of Chinese New Year holiday here, but I hope you enjoyed this initial comparison, guys. I will see you very soon in the next one. And this is where I leave you by saying, this, this is, is Frankie, Frankie Tech, Tech signing off. off. Have a good one. Sleek and sexy in this light blue or stealth and solid in this jet black. Which one would you pick? <laughs>